Well, Santi says it's almost certain to have some sort of skyline view serving as a great backdrop, something that's really become a signature element of Populous's downtown stadiums. This is from uh, Enron Field with the Houston Astros. Drake McLean signed it for me. The bats that line Earl Santi's Kansas City office are from just some of the major league stadiums he's helped design. That list has grown, most recently with the additions of Target Field in Minneapolis and Truist Park in Atlanta. Modern ballparks built around fan experiences around the ballpark's concourses and surrounding districts. I go to a game now, and I'm watching people experience the game more than I'm watching the game itself. Santi says he learned early on from design of PNC Park in Pittsburgh, location is equally as important as the features of the park. The, really the most interesting part about site selection is visualizing what's possible. Populous is now consulting with the Royals on a proposed $2 billion downtown stadium and ballpark district. It's helped survey 14 potential sites in and around downtown, studying both traffic and parking. Santi says each has a minimum of 14 acres for the stadium itself, and the site selection will have a big influence on the architectural design. But he promises it will have Kansas City features in line with the K's fountains and crown. We love what the opportunity may lay in front of us. In fact, the city informs what we do with the ballpark. It tells us what it wants to be, where it wants to be, how it fits in neatly, how it, how it integrates with the community, how it makes it feel like it's a more than a ballpark. Of all the ballparks he's designed in other communities, last week was the first time he'd been part of a team listening session. When you go through the process, it's tough, it's hard, you have to make tough decisions, but every city we've done it in have never regretted it. In fact, they've embraced all the new ballparks across America. So plenty still to be ironed out besides site selection, including development agreements and the public financing portion. Santee says design and construction would likely take about four years, give or take, depending on which site is chosen.